And now for something completely different. We've shown hunting teams before. This one consists of a trumpet fish, ready to pounce on anything the striped parrotfish scares out while grazing on coral. About five minutes later, I noticed this barjack sticking with one of my dive buddies, John. It would scan the reef under him and, like the trumpet fish, pounce when something got scared of the large, loud human swimming overhead. It happened again and again, for almost 20 minutes. After a while, I guess John wasn't producing, so it came over to try my shadow out. I have to say, 1000 Steps is one of our favorite dive sites on Bonaire from a land perspective. You have this incredible view of the beach and shoreline from the top of the staircase, along with a terrific gradient in the water from turquoise to midnight blue. There are a variety of flowers in the area, several types of cactus, and some kind of tree I've never seen before. If you're into birds, every time we came, we saw parrots. When you get down to the beach, you can look up at these huge 100-foot yellow, orange, and gray rocky cliffs sporadically covered with vegetation you wouldn't think could grow. If you can, take some time to explore the beautiful rock formations. There is a lot of nature to enjoy here. We're not alone in our affection for this site, as its 500-foot coastline is a popular destination for snorkelers, sunbathers, family activities, and of course, diving. That said, let's address the overzealous name with some facts. There are two flights of 27 and 38 stairs with a small landing in between. After another landing at the bottom, there are seven more steps and then this boulder you have to navigate to reach the beach. People take all different ways up and down the rock, but having someone there for support, especially when all geared up, seems like a sensible approach. On top of that, it's 13 steps to the nearest parking space, let's say 5 steps to get down the boulder, and 30 steps from there to the entry point. That puts the total at a minimum of 120 steps. So diving here is a bit of a workout, but it's not 1000 actual steps. We very much enjoyed the diving here, and our cameras caught a number of new creatures. First time captures for us include this black hamlet, a bicolor flatworm, a rock hind, and a scaly tailed mantis shrimp. We have extended clips of each in the sea life section later in the video. And now our underwater version of Rick Rolling with brown chromis. Before we get to the site logistics, we would like to share that we have hit a small milestone. This is the 20th episode in our video series, The Shore Dive Collection. You know what else we like to collect? Subscribers. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and share this video with your dive buddies or on social media. Whatever you can do to help us spread the love of shore diving, we would appreciate. Thanks! Smiley faces. One Thousand Steps is in the north half of Bonaire on its leeward coast. The drive takes about 15 minutes from downtown Prylandike. Start north on Kaya Nicholas de Brut for 4.7 miles. At Oil Slick Leap, the road turns right and changes to Queens Highway. Proceed 1.5 miles. Note that the road is now a single lane, but has two-way traffic. Look for WEB, the water and electric facility on the right, and a stone stairway on the left with a yellow dive marker just inside. There are seven paved parking spaces and dirt parking on the shoulder for the overflow. 
Although the vegetation does grow high, your car will probably bake in the sun during the day. You can gear up at home and we've seen a couple of options when setting up here. Most divers assemble their gear around their vehicle and wear it when walking down the stairs. However, at the end of our fourth dive here, we did see a group carry their BCs and tanks down separately. We didn't film the actual assembly because, you know, the stairs, but that is an option. The limited amenities are all at the top and include a single trash can which is often full by mid-afternoon, a fishing line disposal tube, and some bench seating. When you get to the beach, there are three general entry points. Divers seem to prefer an area just to the right of the stairs, where there is a break in the rock and a bit more sand. Snorkelers also use that and two similar areas up and down the beach. No matter where you enter, the first 20 to 50 feet will be a rocky bottom. You can surface swim or drop down and enjoy the scenery on the way out. It's up to you, but if you've seen our videos, you know we love the shallows. There was only one mooring here and the site is a well-known destination for divers, so there will likely be a dive boat around. As always, be wary whenever near the surface and watch for descending divers around the buoy. As far as compass headings go, 210 degrees southwest will take you out to the reef, and 30 degrees northeast will steer you back to shore. You can also use the dive buoy as a reference. It's anchored in a little sandy patch at about 30 feet directly in front of the main entry point. The terrain from shore to the reef changes a bit as the rocky beach entry gives way to all sand at about 5 feet. As you swim out further, small coral heads and gorgonians appear, isolated at first, followed by the front line of the reef. While the reef starts off relatively flat, you come up to the drop-off fairly quickly. It's pretty healthy, with lots of activity. Despite substantial coral and sponge growth up and down the slope, there are a few intermittent sandy patches. Here's a bit of what everything looks like at 20 foot increments. As tempting as it is to focus on the reef in front of you, be sure to keep checking above and below to see what might be swimming in open water. We've seen barracuda on patrol, as well as free swimming green moray eels. And a spotted eagle ray gracefully gliding by is certainly worth a spot check or two once in a while, don't you think? All that coastline means there's a lot of shallows to explore which makes 1,000 steps very popular with snorkelers as well. The sea floor changes quite a bit from large swaths of sand to a more traditional Bonarian mixture of rock and coral debris to sporadic coral growth to full-blown reef. There are also several large patches of staghorn coral. The sea life across those shallow areas may just be responsible for the consumption of a bit more air than you intend on the way back, but it's worth it. Of course diving you may see snorkelers, and snorkeling you may see divers, but some other things both might see include chub, schools of juvenile bluehead wrasse, coney, a relaxed barracuda, yellow goatfish, Spanish hogfish, scrawled filefish, or blue chromis. And if you have turtle on your sea animal bingo card, that box may just get filled as well.
The blue-gray coating that resembles candle wax is called overgrowing matte tunicate, and we noticed a lot of it at 1000 steps. Certainly more than other sites. It goes through periods of rapid growth when it can quickly overwhelm and kill stony coral before dying back. Sometimes we accidentally catch something in the video and don't even realize it until we look at the footage. It seems this juvenile slippery dick was just as surprised as we were to come across a baby octopus. Barred and butter hamlets are fairly common, but this was the first black hamlet we've seen on the island. Oddly enough, a few crustaceans were out during the day. We saw this batwing coral crab and a Caribbean spiny lobster. Acorn worms live underneath the sandy floor. They process organic material in the sand and slowly push it out through what looks like mini volcanoes. This clip is at four times regular speed. Here are some other fascinating animals we've seen during the day at 1000 steps. We made a couple of night dives here and scored a few more first time captures. Swimming out to the reef, I noticed a small, perfectly round hole in the sand. It turned out to be the home of a scaly tailed mantis shrimp. On the way back to shore, Yolanda, our Beyond the Corals dive guide, spotted a bicolored flatworm. We haven't seen too many rock hinds on Bonaire, so it was very nice to see one with a mottled night pattern. Our dive group also came across a turtle. Here are a few other things we saw while diving 1,000 steps at night. Enjoy!